क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डायग्नोल्स ऑफ पैरोलोग्राम डब्ल्यू एक्स वाई जेड इंटरसेक ईच अदर एट पॉइंट ओ इफ एंगल एक्स वाई जेड इक्वल्स टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी फाइव डिग्री देन वॉट इज द मेजर ऑफ एंगल एक्स डब्ल्यू जेड एंगल वाई जेड डब्ल्यू एंड इफ ओ वाई इक्वल्स टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर देन वॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ डब्ल्यू वाई लेट सी द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन Angle x y z equals to hundred and thirty five degree. You can see in this figure, angle x y z is given as thirty five degree. Okay, angle x y z equals to angle x w z. You can look at in this figure, angle x y z and angle x w z will be congruent, right? These two angles will be congruent to each other. Do you know why? Because they are opposite angles. of a parallelogram and we know opposite angles of parallelograms are congruent right so here angle x y z is given 135 degree therefore angle x w z will also 135 degree correct so we can say over here therefore angle x w z equals to 135 degree now we can say that here angle x Y Z plus angle Y Z W equals to one eighty degree, right? Angle X Y Z plus angle Y Z W equals to one eighty degree. Do you know why? You can look at this figure. Angle X Y Z and angle Y Z W are adjacent angles, right? These two angles are adjacent angles. Okay, adjacent angles. You can say they are consecutive angles also. Okay, the angle which comes one after the another, and consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Supplementary means some of these two angles will be one eighty degree. Okay, now you can see that your angle X Y Z is given as one hundred and thirty five degree. So at the place of X Y Z, we can write one hundred and thirty five degree. Okay, so here we will get 135 degree plus y z w equals to 180 degree. Now we will shift 135 to that side of equal to right. What will happen? The sign of the term will change. So we will get angle y z w equals to 180 degree minus 135 degree. Therefore, angle y z w equals to 45. Degree, okay. So here we got the measure of both the required angles, right? Now we will go for finding of length of W Y. Okay, here O Y is half of Y W, right? Here length O Y is half of Y W. You can see in this figure, this segment, segment O Y, is half of. Diagonal W Y. Do you know why? Because diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other. Okay, that means point O divides segment W Y in two equal parts. Therefore, O Y will be half of Y W. Okay, and you can see that O Y is given five centimeter. So at the place of O Y, we will write five. Okay, now we will shift to the side. Okay, the left hand side of equal to. Okay, so what we will get five into two equals to y w. Therefore, y w equals to ten centimeter. So we got the length of y w also. That is ten centimeter. So here we have final answer. Angle x y z equals to one hundred and thirty five degree. Angle y z w equals to one hundred and thirty five degree. And length w y equals to ten centimeter. Question number two. In a parallelogram ABCD, measure angle A equals to 3x plus 12 degree, measure angle B equals to 2x minus 32 degree. Find the value of x and also find the measure of angle C and measure of angle D. Let's see the solution of this question. Coital ABCD is a parallelogram, right? And therefore, angle A plus angle B equals to one eighty degree. Look at 
this figure here angle a and angle b are adjacent angles of a parallelogram right angle a and angle b are adjacent angles right or you can say angle a and angle b are consecutive angles of a parallelogram right consecutive angles means angles which comes one after the another and consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary therefore angle a plus angle b equals to 180 degree now at the place of a i can write 3x plus 12 degree right you can see in the figure angle a is given 3x plus 12 degree and at the place of b i can write as 2x minus 32 degree okay so we will substitute here measure of angle a and measure of angle b so let's see what we will get 3x plus 12 plus 2x minus 32 equals to 180 now we will simplify this equation right so now here we will add 3x with 2x we will get 5x and 12 minus 32 will gives us minus 32 so we will get 5x minus 20 equals to 180 degree now we are going to shift minus 20 to that side of equal to right so what we will get 5x equals to 180 plus 20 now we will add 180 with 20 we will get 200 so 5x equals to 200 now we will shift 5 to that side of equal to right so what we will get x equals to 200 upon 5 and when you will divide 200 by 5 you will get 40 degree so now we got the value of x now this value will help us to find out measure angle c and measure angle d let's see how it is measure angle c equals to measure angle a you can see in this figure angle c and angle a right angle c and angle a are opposite angles right and we know opposite angles of parallelograms are congruent okay so angles c will be equals to angle a and you can see angle a is given 3x plus 12 degree you can see in the figure angle a is given 3x plus 12 degree so angle c will also 3x plus 12 degree right now we are going to substitute here value of x so we will get measure angle c equals to 3 into 40 plus 12 right we have substituted here value of x you can see in the figure at the place of x i have written 40 right so what we will get now we will multiply 3 with 40 we will get 120 plus 12 so measure angle c equals to 132 degree okay so we got the measure of angle c that is 132 degree now look at this figure here angle d and angle b are opposite angles right you can see your angle b and angle d they are opposite angles of a parallelogram and opposite angles of parallelograms are congruent okay therefore d equals to b you can see in this figure angle b is given 2x minus 32 therefore angle d will also be 2x minus 32 now we are going to substitute here value of x right that is 40 so 2 into 40 minus 32 now we will multiply 2 with 40 we will get 80 80 minus 32 and 80 minus 32 equals to 48 degree so we got the value of x that is 40 degree and we got the measure of angle c that is 132 degree and measure angle d is 48 degree okay that is the answer for this question question number three the perimeter of a parallelogram is 150 centimeter one of its side is greater than other by 25 centimeter find length of all the sides of parallelogram okay let's see the solution of this question okay suppose the given corridor is a b c d and it is a parallelogram so let a b c d is a parallelogram so here we have a figure okay now what is given here one of the side is greater than other by 25 centimeters so we will consider over here a b equals to x centimeter okay you can see in this figure i have taken a b as x centimeter right 
So what will the length of BC? Can you guess it? BC is 25 centimeter more. You can see in this question, this side would be more than AB by 25 centimeter. So the length of BC will be X plus 25. You can see in this figure, BC will be X plus 25. Okay. Now here AB and CD are equal. All right. You can see in this figure, AB and CD are equal. Right. Are they equal? Okay. AB and CD are equal. Do you know why they are equal? Because they are opposite sides of parallelogram. Therefore, AB and CD will have same length that is X and D meter. Similarly, the remaining two sides are also opposite sides of a parallelogram. So here side AD and side BC will be equals to each other, right? Side AD and side BC will be equals to each other. Why? Because they are also opposite sides of parallelogram and this side is X plus 25 that is a BC. So definitely AD will also be X plus 25. Okay. Now, you can see AD is X plus 25 in the figure. Now, look at this figure. It is given the perimeter of a parallelogram is 150 centimeter, right? What do you mean by the perimeter? Sum of all four sides. So, look at this figure here. AB plus BC plus CD plus AD, right? AB plus BC plus CD plus AD equals to 150 centimeter, right? Now we will substitute here value of AB, BC, CD and AD. What we can write at the place of AB? We can write X. At the place of BC, we will write X plus 25. Look at this figure. At the place of CD, we will write X, right? And at the place of AD, we will write X plus 25. So we will substitute here value. We'll get this, right? Now we'll simplify this, correct? Now we'll add X plus X plus X plus X. That would be 4X and 25 plus 25 will be 50. So what we will get? 4X plus 50 equals to 150. Now we will shift plus 50 to that side of equal to. So we will get 4X equals to 150 minus 50, right? When we will shift plus 50 to that side of equal to, the sign of this number will change. Okay, so 4x equals to 100. So x equals to 100 upon 4. So x equals to 25. Okay, so we got the value of x that is 25. Therefore, AB equals to CD equals to x. You can see in this figure, AB and CD both are equals to x. And what is the value of x? It's 25 centimeter. Okay, so we got side AB and side CD that is 25 centimeter. Similarly, AD and BC are equal and both are equals to X plus 25. You can see in this figure, both are equals to X plus 25. Now, we are, what we are going to do here, we are going to substitute here value of X. And what is value of X? It's a 25. So what we will get? 25 plus 25 equals to 50 centimeter. So we got the length of all four sides of this parallelogram.